Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Godric with yet another video. And in case you don't know, I posted my first guide last time. It's very lengthy, but it's you know it's worth your uh, time. I hope so. Please check it out. Now we're gonna deep dive on the weapons and artifacts section. My video's aim, by the way, is to you know give you general guidelines and give you a I don't know what's the word mindset or the judgment to help you build uh, a character yourself so yeah let's get right into it all right so let's first talk about stats because i figured you know while i was recording this um we might be far deep into the weapons and artifacts section without you knowing what each of the stats do or what they represent so here they are um first is hp obviously your health points and your character dies when it drops to zero uh, you already know about that next is attack your attack points obviously again and your defense is you know what defense does right it reduces the damage that you get from your enemies apart from um, the shield that you get so generally uh, I'm gonna talk about HP and HP attack and defense first so uh, you'll notice on artifacts that there are values that just says you know uh, plus uh, this amount of HP or plus this amount of attack and you'll also see uh, additional HP attack or defense with percentage so Ideally, what you'd want for your artifacts is more of the the percentage um, stats because it's going to you know get the percentage that per certain percentage of your initial HP attack or defense. So when you get the flat attack HP or defense, it will only be added to what you have uh, first hand. So uh, there's a loss there if you equip your characters with flat HP attack or defense so now let's go to elemental mastery or EM for short so the higher the value of this the higher the damage that you deal when you produce um, elemental reactions so there's the vaporize there's the melt etc um, yeah I think that's just about it with elemental mastery um, also side note um, swirl does not crit that's one thing that I think uh, some players are still confused about so yeah also speaking of crit let's go to crit so uh, crit rate of course is how often you crit and then you obviously want that to be close to 100% right but you know it's really hard to farm for crit stats and crit damage is the damage that you deal when you uh, you know produce the crit so yeah that's just it and I think yeah, you often hear or see about this anyway in other uh, guides or in the community that you want a 1 is to 2 ratio of crit rate to crit damage. So for every point of crit rate, you want uh, 2 crit damage. And then we have ER or energy recharge. So of course, the higher the amount or the percentage of this, the higher that you gain your energy back for your... Uh, for your elemental burst then yeah i think that's just it the uh important stats so with that out of the way let's go to the weapons okay before in my last video we talked about weapons but you know it was simply about where and how you can get them and how you need to level them up and send them so right now we're gonna go deeper obviously you already know that the weapons they have their main stat which is attack so let's call this the weapon attack now your characters they also have their attack their own attack and when you add this character attack plus the weapon attack that's the base attack so base attack is the white one on the details page of your character and the green one the additional one will be coming from your artifacts and or if you have external buffs so you need to remember this because some characters or their talents rather 
make use or you know scale off of the base attack only and not the total attack and then we have the weapon substats which is different from weapon to weapon and your weapon substat is an important factor especially in artifact building because you need to balance out the stats and we'll get to that as we go to the artifact section lastly we also need to consider the weapon's passive effect so your weapon selection it would vary if you want to prioritize the passive effect more or the substat so it's gonna vary like i said it's always dependent on the characters or the talent that you want to uh, utilize uh, with them so remember that and we're gonna get back on that later as you know and as we've talked about before in my previous video the artifacts they have a main stat and substats so for the flower it has a fixed flat hp main stat and for the feather it has flat attack main stat so it's also fixed but for sans goblet and circlet um they vary so it's randomly generated it's part of the rng i don't want to say curse but yeah it's what it is so uh these uh, five pieces you need to balance them according to you know what your characters need and what your weapon provides now for the substats uh they may include you know the these stats that you see so they're also randomly distributed and randomly um leveled up should you level them up but you should really so now that that's out of the way let's talk about picking specific main stats or their sets um all of those stuff and for this example we're gonna look at my boy here bennett so bennett was my first main dps uh, i just have to put it out there so i removed everything see i told you and i don't regret doing this well i'm still thinking about this yeah anyway so this is gonna be a um general guide or you know a general idea about dps's um so it's not supposed to be gospel truth as you know some characters scale off of different um stats so this like i said i keep saying it it's uh the general idea for building uh dps okay so first things first we need to know if you've already unlocked the five star artifact domains or not have you reached ar45 yet because if not it means you don't have the five star artifacts yet right so um that being said you can use what you have you can use the spares the four stars or the three star artifacts there's really no problem with that um because you know as we talked about earlier uh it's advisable to first max your talents your talent levels right here because basically these are your multipliers for your stats as you can see here you see the percentages there they're gonna you know factor in what you have the raw stats that you have for your artifacts so that being said don't stress yourself out about uh you know looking for good four star artifact pieces because eventually you're gonna replace them with five stars okay so here's why the five star artifacts are way better than the four stars because you might be thinking that if you can use the four star uh, characters or the four star weapons why not do the same with the artifacts but no it's a completely different story so as you can see the max level of a four star um, artifact is only up to level 16 and the max level of a five star artifact is up to 20. so obviously you'll have lower scalings and you'll have a lesser amount of um, stat bonus for both substats and the main stat but I'm only saying that if you've already reached your you know maybe minimum goals that you think you're satisfied with your talent levels or well of course basically if you've already unlocked your um, five star artifact domains so you can start sniping for you know better artifacts and yeah finally you don't want to get the flat attack flat defense or flat hp because as we talked about before your um uh, your flat stats are only going to be added to the raw um, stats that you have so try to aim for the percentage ones 
So all these things are how you should judge your artifacts if they're good or not for your characters. So yeah, good luck. Alright, so let's now go to the actual building process. First, we go to the weapons. Or weapon. It's just one weapon, right? <laughs> okay, so as an F2P, your go-to weapons are usually the 4 stars or the 3 stars, which are decent, right? You can't go wrong with these, especially early game. Now, um, if you don't have any 5 stars, because generally 5 stars of course are better weapons. And if you don't, you can make use of any of these. And since this is Bennett, uh, I'd suggest using Lion's Roar because he's gonna benefit from the effect and he's a pyro applier himself. So let's switch to that. Now, I'm building him as a DPS by the way. Um, I'm just gonna say it again. So for the artifacts, let's look at some sets. So these are what I have. But obviously, since Bennett is a pyro character, you're gonna want to use a elemental damage bonus, or in his case, pyro damage bonus. That of course is to maximize um, his element, of course. I mean, if you look at the 4P set bonus, it's gonna increase uh, overload and burning damage by 40%, so that's a lot, and vaporize and melt damage, 15%. Using elemental skill increases the 2p set bonus by 50%. So it's really it's really um, a significant amount of bonus, you know. So now, if you think you can't get the 4p set right away, because I'm telling you, you won't, <laughs> even in other um, artifacts. Uh, this is a very good um, tip for you. You can use the 2p sets. Uh, for example this one we're gonna use this attack percent and another let's say this one so you can use any uh, any part of the set or any piece of the set now you have two piece activated right so we're gonna use another gladiators finale because for sure you've already faced a lot of bosses and there's always a chance that you'll get um, good, you know, random pieces. That being said, um, I'm trying to look for a good, uh, decent piece here. So, yeah, I think maybe we'll borrow this one. And then, we need Pyro. Okay, so, for the Goblet, by the way, you need to know that this is the piece where you get the elemental um, bonus damage bonus so this is what he was using before an off piece so let's equip that and for the circlet this is where we'll see the crit rate pieces so our set is another gladiators finale okay let's bring back the filter crit rate okay we have crit rate now so as you can see, both um, two piece sets are active. Gladiators Finale, 18% attack, and Crimson Witch of Flames is Pyro Damage Bonus, 15%. Okay, so what you want to do now is look at his stats, the details. So, of course, you want your character to deal crits all the time. I mean, your DPS. Uh, so obviously, you need 100% or as close to it as possible, and this isn't hitting it. It's only 53%. So, aside from that, you also want a crit ratio of, from crit rate to crit damage, a 1 to 2. I think we've already talked about that before. So, this is close, so it's okay. But, right, it doesn't, um, I don't think it's gonna be consistent enough. So, that being said, if you're not satisfied with your overall stats, then we can adjust the artifacts. Obviously, if you don't have any more, you're gonna have to live with what you have or well, obviously you're gonna um, farm for more, right? So if you're not satisfied, you can look for other pieces, but I'd suggest you do this only if, you know, you're already way past all of your um, 
ascension or talent um, requirements. So, I'm saying that because you're gonna burn a lot of resin for artifact farming and I think I've been doing it for a very long time. I can't even, I can't even remember which, what AR I was back then and it was really my mistake to not prioritize the talent levels. And if we're gonna look at a different scenario, maybe, you know, there are five star weapons that has a different um, substat. For example, for example, this one is ER. Uh, sometimes your characters are short on energy recharge and you need some more. You can find them in substats or if you really can't make a decent, uh, if you really can't find a decent uh, piece with energy recharge to boost it, sometimes players use the ER sands like this one. That way, you're gonna get um, energy recharge uh, boost. But I think it's the same case. So if you already got ER here, you're, you don't want to use another one for your sands. The same way, if you have overflowing um, stats or substats in your artifacts, you could try to replace them and use a different um, piece. So I think that's just about it, about artifact building and, you know, weapons and the balancing of your stats. But basically, uh, I think this two-piece, two-piece set is one of the best um, techniques about, you know, building your character because, for example, the best is, the best example is Yai Miko for now because she doesn't have a four piece that that she can fully utilize the same way that with Xiao he doesn't have a specific four piece set that he can fu fully utilize so the way that you build them with two piece attack percent and two piece whatever elemental damage bonus that they have you know you give them more freedom as well because you're not constrained with you know trying to build for specific 4p sets which is it's really it's really difficult because you're gonna burn like i said burn a lot of resin just for doing that so i hope you learned something and you had fun i don't know um please let me know in the comments if you have any more questions or any suggestions that for whatever video i need to do next or because i'm thinking if i should do a resin efficiency video or something or maybe character uh, account um, showcase you know so yeah i think that's just it please uh like subscribe comment uh do any interaction thing here please spread the word and spread this channel please uh need all your help since you know i'm new here and yeah that's it thank you for watching again and i, pre I appreciate you uh watching this video thank you